Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about a revolutionary new microphone. It's the first microphone to have sound autofocusing technology. And I think this might be a game changer for anyone in the community who wants to create content. This is the Ray from Lewis. Now, what is sound autofocusing technology? Well, if you're familiar with autofocusing in cameras, just like my camera here, no matter where I go in the frame, it's going to keep me focused and keep my face nice and sharp. This is incredibly important for me because since I can't see the little screen there, I can't tell if I'm in focus. So I rely heavily on the powerful autofocus in my camera. Well, this is what the Ray has, but it's autofocusing my voice. The technology is called Aura, and it essentially gauges how far I am from the microphone and keeps my voice at a constant level and constant tone. So even if I back up like this, Ray and the Aura technology is keeping my voice at a constant level. And I think this is gonna be great for us because if you can't see where the microphone is, then you're gonna have a hard time staying at a constant distance from it, which is traditionally what you have to do to get that really good, clean, consistent audio. But like I said, Ray does it for us. All right, let's talk a little bit about the hardware here, and then we'll come back and dive a little deeper into how well it works. So in the box, when you get the Lewitt Ray microphone, you get the microphone, you get a shock mount, you get a windscreen, you also get this super cool little magnetic pop filter. I am loving the way that this works. The engineering on this was fantastic. You get some paperwork, and then you also get this really nice leather case, or faux leather, probably. It's a pencil pouch style. The inside is super soft, and this is gonna be a great way to transport your Ray microphone if you need to. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna use this for other camera equipment, like batteries and cables and things. You can never have too many zippered pouches around. Ray is an XLR only microphone and it is a condenser microphone. That means you're gonna have to use some kind of audio mixer that can provide phantom power for the microphone. The microphone does have a cardioid polar pattern, which means it only picks up audio from the front and it rejects audio from the back and the sides. So this is going to be great for most content creation, podcasting, singing, playing a musical instrument. In fact, Lewitt is a very popular brand for those type of high quality microphones. And not only that, but Ray actually has the same microphone technology as one of their best selling professional microphones. All right, I've turned off the Aura technology, that sound autofocusing technology. So now the Ray microphone is acting as a traditional cardioid microphone. This means that if I put it off to the side, we're gonna lose some clarity, some tone in the recording. If I go maybe this way, we're gonna lose some clarity. If I get nice and close, you're probably gonna hear more bass in the voice. But at the same time, way back here, we're gonna lose the volume and the tone. Turning that Aura technology back on. On the front here, you have two buttons. You also have some LEDs indicating that it's turned on. Not only that it's turned on, but your current distance from the microphone. I don't know what technology it's using to judge the distance, but it's pretty accurate, which is kind of crazy. The button to the right is a mute button, and this is always great to have on a microphone. So if I am talking and I press that button, and then we turn it back on and now you guys should be able to hear me again. Another groundbreaking technology that the Ray microphone has, thanks to this auto focusing, is the ability to automatically mute the microphone once you get past a certain distance. So you can set up to a certain distance that if you back away from that, back away out of that range, it will automatically mute the microphone. The way this works is you long press on your mute button to set the distance for the automatic shutoff. Basically, however far you're sitting away from the microphone when you press that button, that sets the distance. So I could be doing the live stream here and everything's fine, but all of a sudden I've got to sneeze. <laughs> well, super easy, I just back away. And then I come back up close and everything's good. You can hear me again. <laughs> really pretty cool. 
Now, as I said, the microphone comes with both a foam wind cover and the super cool magnetic pop filter. The foam cover is gonna be great for wind noise. If you're in a room with like an air conditioning vent or a fan or something, it's going to do great about blocking that. It's also gonna be good for canceling out those plosives. Plosives are the popping sound you get with p, 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 with peas. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All of those peas might just be popping like crazy in the recording. Well, the foam wind cover is going to do a pretty good job of blocking that as well. Ideally, you're gonna wanna use the pop filter because that's what this is specifically designed for. And it's a little mesh that goes in front of the microphone. And like I said, this one is super cool because it's magnetic. You just drop it right down and it magnetically attaches to the shock mount. Super cool, maybe my favorite thing about this microphone. Now, what about sound quality? Well, all the audio you've heard up until now has been from the microphone completely unprocessed. This is just the raw audio coming out of the microphone. This is what you can expect. It's going through my mixer and I am recording into Audacity. And now here we have some processed audio. So from here on out, the rest of the video, we're gonna be listening to audio that I have done some post-processing. It's not a ton of processing, but this gives you an idea of what you might expect. But I think you can agree that this microphone sounds really good just with pure raw audio. I mean, like I said, this has the same technology in it that Lewitt's number one best-selling professional microphone has. So you're definitely gonna get some great audio quality. And especially with singing and playing instruments, this is a fantastic microphone for that. And with that being said, guys, if you're interested in picking up the Ray microphone from Lewitt, I will have a link down below. This is on Amazon for right around $350. A huge thank you to Lewitt for sending out the Ray microphone so I can make this video for you guys. If you have any questions about this or anything that I talk about, leave those in the comments down below. And if you liked the video or found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to The Blind Life because I put out content just like this every single Saturday. But that's it guys, Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.